Speaking in public with power is all about storytelling. If you're able to tell your stories, you can make an impact. If you're able to tell your stories, you can win the, that grant. If you're able to tell your story, you can win that business pitch. If you're able to tell your story well, you can even win yourself a spouse. So today, my name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and I'm going to share with you some secrets about storytelling when it comes to public speaking. So if you are new to this, why don't you like this? Why don't you subscribe to this? Why don't you follow me? Why don't you even ask me questions regarding public speaking? And if you want to learn how, about how to tell better stories, then listen to me today. So there are ways that you can tell stories, but there are two ways that I categorize stories. Your own stories, that's your personal experiences, the knowledge that you have, the things that you know, the things that you want to talk about, the things that inspire you. Those are your personal stories. The second element of storytelling is stories about others. So others simply means that other people that you like, you can pick Mark Zuckerberg's story. I can pick Nelson Mandela's story and share it to inspire other people. I can pick Elon Musk's story and share it to the world. I can pick a story of a phone and tell the world. So if you're a business executive and you are able to tell the story, how you started the organization, why the organization, why that product, why that service. You're telling the story of the product or service and other people. And once you're able to tell these stories, people can be able to buy to your stories. And that's why people easily buy your service in terms of if, if you are selling a phone, if you are selling a uh, service, whatever you do, people can easily buy your service. And that's why Lamborghini, that's why Bugattis, that's why Range Rovers, they are priced higher, even 10 times more than the Corollas you see because of the story. Nothing else, they are all cars. But the story that they are able to tell about these cars will make you feel like you want to have it. And that's storytelling. So if you want to tell stories, no, you need to vary your tone sometimes. Package your stories into parcels into packages and let people know that this is your story. Don't tell a story. Sometimes as speakers, we tell stories. We don't end the stories and we pick other stories to tell. So I want you to know that that is not right. Make sure you finish every story that you started. And the story must have a moral. Why are you telling that story? Why do people, why do you think people should even, even hear that story? All this comes into storytelling. And also, if you are selling stories, your emotions counts. If I'm selling a phone as a corporate executive, I need to look confident. I need to look powerful. My voice should carry that message that I want to sell this product. And the confidence level that I am able to tell my audience will let them know that, yes, they will believe in this phone. In a similar way, if I want donations from organizations, or if I'm running a church, and I need to tell a story to let people even donate their tight donate to a project, donate to an, to an orphanage, donate to support something, maybe a charity project or whatever it is, your tone should also vary. And that's where you bring the tone down, your emotions. You need to bring emotions to it. You need to let the people feel that this is a need. There's an agency. You don't go there trying to give them that power, their corporate vibe, no. Trying to let them know that yes, they must, they must donate. This is a must, no. You go there, go there with emotions. Tell them that, hey, you need to donate. You need to make an impact. You need to do this to change the life of this kid or this community or this thing and that and that and that. And once you're able to play that emotional game, then people can easily donate and support your project. And that, this is for NGOs and churches and religious leaders. So if you want to get that grant, if you want to get that win that uh, opportunity, then you need to know the tone that you use, vary the tone, learn how to get into the emotions of people who are supposed to support and get them through your voice, through your presentation, through your gestures. So all this are secrets that you need to tell and you need to use when you are telling stories. So storytelling is key, storytelling is important, and you just need to devise the means, the strategies, to tell your own stories. I believe in you.
And if you believe in you, and you believe that you can do it, I want to challenge you to go out and speak in public. Go out and believe in yourself. Tell your own story. Tell the story that you have. It could be that you want to get a job. You need to tell a story. If you go to an interview mall, it's your story that they are looking for. Yes, your experience. You've already written your experience for them. You've given them your experience in the paper, your CV. You have that. So why will they interview you? Because they want to hear your story. Why do you do what you do? Why do you love what you do? What story are you going to tell? So you now know why sometimes you don't get a job because you're unable to tell your own story. I believe in you. Let's get in touch. If you want me to do a training for you, your organization, or your group, there's a number that you can reach out to me and let's take it to the next chapter. If you also like, please subscribe to this, whether you're seeing this on Facebook, on LinkedIn, whether you're seeing this on YouTube, or uh, TikTok, or Instagram. Let's follow each other and let's do more. I believe in you. Now I believe that you can make a difference. Go out and tell your story. Thank you very much. Ibrahim Mustafa here.